Hi, welcome back to episode 5 on the Odyssey Rising SMP. Glad to have you back, as always. It's been a little bit of time because I was at work, so until I make this my full-time job, it's going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, last time, I decided to change my mind and make little hatches and barns for all the animals because I have so many and it would just help fill the area out. So we're going to make a barn over here. But first, let's start on the hatches. Let's jump right into the time lapse. Let's go. I think that turned out rather cute. I used reference pictures from Stardew Valley, which is why the hutches are all green. And eventually I'll make red red barns and maybe a couple other colors because you can mix them up. Anyways, I wanted to show you before in between this, I went on an adventure with a bunch of people down into the deep dark ancient city. Here we go. Ashback. I just yeah, thought of another thing with my cult of love. Oh, so yeah. we bring the, you know how the worshipper is going to be called Thunder Thighs? Yeah. So that's how do we how get a soul in heresy. here? That's how they break down heresy, by the clap of the Thunder Thighs. <laughs> that's what I was saying. They will that's strike you down. The game is, that's what the thunder in this game is. It's just a clap of the goddess's th thighs. Day 2. <laughs> I thought I, made, I gave you the Frost Slayer. <laughs> I gave someone a Frost Slayer sword. It was her, probably. <laughs> yeah, because I also, get, I also gave her snow armor. <laughs> yeah, Sis, uh, <laughs> Sis has stuff everywhere, so more uh -oh. than likely she lost it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Day three. Yep, we're oh. putting that down here now. And we're digging this way, because this is where we gotta go. Wait, stay I can hear him. Where are you, Goji? I am in the ground. I put where my waypoint is. Up here, I have a line of sight. Sweet. I just shot oh, yep. him, I shot him, I shot him. He is pissed. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. is. Oh, there he goes. Come on, buddy. Come on. You don't want the smoke? I'm gonna laugh if you kill him this way. I see arrows in him. We're trying. If I can get a good noisy clown going. Blowing him up a bit. <laughs> I gotta get to spectator zone. That right. totally helps. Homicider, your thing. <laughs> it helps so much. Yes, poison. Yes. Poison. Keep choosing them. We got him. Oh my god, he died! <laughs> Good job, guys. Woo! Yeah. That's exciting. Congrats. Wait, did you guys go down here? Oops. Yeah, we're down. I didn't okay. Mean to do that. I'm make. I'm slowly making my way down. Ooh, echo shirts. This is the. This is the part where I put down wool on my feet, right? I got right? a potion of regeneration too. Actually, there was four. I guess. I was able to get there a little distance on him. Oh. You guys see him? 
Yeah. Yep, I see him. I'm gonna try and hit him from here. Alright, I got a view. He's poisoned. I lost visual. I have visual. He's right and below visual. me. Everyone's got visual. He's going That's into the lava. He's right where I died before. That's where he was. He's in the lava. Where he's at? Like I, as in, like there's blocks blocking from me. Being... Yep, I lost visual. No, he's uh. He's right below oh, me. We have another one that spawned down here. Yeah. He's like negative two. I'm oh, shooting this. One. This one's dead. Woo! Okay. He... Um, maybe use some wool. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I got two. I got two of them on me because I was trying to run from one and another one spawned. I'm going up. End of flashback. No, that was really scary, but also really fun. We also I managed to get switch sneak, which will make us faster when building. So let's jump into the next time lapse. Now that we're done the exterior, it's time to start on the interior. I'm going to make an area for all the rare animals in a basement area. I think Unknown's going to help us out too with that. It's always nice when your friends help you out when building. Makes it a lot easier. Right here, I'll give you the stuff before I... Here's my... Uh, that one... That... That... That spruce planks, spruce planks. This part. Yay! Now we have the basic enclosures. We can put in all the rare animals that we need for the Minecraft Dungeons mod. <laughs> and then, yeah, it was nice of Unknown to help me out. We'll go in and I'll show you. I'm going to end up decorating this a little bit more, but for now, at least the sniffers have a place to go. And look, he's digging something up for me right now. Ooh, torch flower seeds. Don't mind me, I'm just going to sleep so no mobs come up and grab us out of nowhere, or no creepers come up and blow up what we just built. Alright, so let's go in here. Eventually, I'll end up decorating this a little bit more and making it look nicer. But for now, it's functional, so that's the main thing. We can add all our mobs and stuff in. Alright, I already put the goats in here. This is going to be the area where we break off the horns, but as you can see, I put them in there already. I'll put this away. Maybe grab some mob catchers. I'll show you how this the horn breaking works. You guys be good. <laughs> so yeah, we'll put him here. So basically you just stand there. Stand still and hope that he wants to ram us. Please ram us. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, see, he's about to do it. And there we go. Yay, we got our first horn. Let's try it out. <laughs> so then I'm gonna put the ocelots in here that we caught earlier on and make sure I name tag them just random names <laughs> and I gotta make sure that they're somewhat tamed ahead of time so we have Stewie and Sammy for our first ones not too creative but both S names it works make it a baby Yay, first baby. So yeah, 
We gotta go get some foxes next. That's the last ones on our list. We need regular foctic foxes and arctic foxes. Lucky for us, we put a waystone at one of the towns that we went in previous episodes with Homicider and Gojira. So we just have to take a waystone there. So let's go do that now. Ooh, our first volunteer has been spotted. Hello, little guy. I thought they were supposed to come closer to you when you're holding berries. Maybe if I crouch, I don't know. We'll see if I can catch them just by running because I'm really impatient right now. <laughs> And gotcha! First one! Hello, little buddy. Oh, see, it does work when you crouch. We'll just sneak up on him. Hopefully he doesn't run away. And gotcha! And looky! There's a snowy tiger area right by. I didn't even notice that before. But that's pretty convenient. Put on our booties so we don't fall in snow. I think I saw... Yep! Oh, there's one right there! Little wee baby! Well, I capture him, and you will be one of our breeders. Let's get in that. Oh, he's a sneaky one. <laughs> you may run, but we will catch you. Eventually. <laughs> if I can get you. There we go. Got it. Can't separate the family, so we need the mother too. Hello. And there we go. Let's head back home now that we have them and put them in their new enclosures. <laughs> this first enclosure I just did moss and some ferns to make it kind of comfortable for them. Let's name tag you if I can catch you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Stupid fairies. Come here you. And you will be Marcus. And then you can be Mabel. We'll see if we can breed them right now. I can catch you. Quit. Phew. For such a small area, it's so hard to catch them. <laughs> see if I can crouch up to them. Hello. You want a berry? No? Maybe I can't do it while I'm crouching. Let's try. Oh, I placed another bush. <laughs> This is harder than it looks, trust me. <laughs> Let's see if we can get them from here. There's one. And two. Make it a baby. Perfect. We'll come back and breed them up more. For now, we're going to name take these guys. I'm going to name you Zoe. And then when I was growing up, I had a childhood friend named Zach. So I figured I'd use that name. Because <laughs> why not? And then when you grow up, Zach, you can be bred too. Now that we got all those animals in, I want to get some more progress done. So let's jump right into a time lapse. Let's go! This area here is where I wanted to do our berry farm, so a quick way to get podzel is just to do the 4 by 4 or 2 by 4 <laughs> trees. Or 2 by 2 There we go. <laughs> and then I'm going to mix coarse dirt in and make it kind of look like it's coming or transitioning throughout the grass or grass nicely. That way it all kind of blends together a little better. And then once we put that up, we put up the gate posts, and then we can put slabs on top of this. Plant all our berry bushes and make sure they're all grown. Gonna need more berries though. <laughs> but in between that, we can put the slabs on to top it off. And then that'll be done and dusted. So when we harvest berries, we won't actually hurt ourselves. Which is good, and it looks kind of nice, like a little berry vineyard. Next, I want to do kind of, um, I'm just going to walk you through instead of doing a time lapse. But I want to do kind of, you know where they would stomp the berries? That's kind of what I have in my head, so like put 
couple blocks on the bottom and then some bushel, bushel whatever these are called <laughs> boxes of berries to make it look like there's berries in it and then I'm gonna put trap doors around to make it look like one big barrel type thing with stairs leading up so that's where you would jump on your berries to squish them up and make wine I think that's kind of cool Then we can just dot a couple of these and make it look like there's little wine areas and some small details throughout the area just to fill it out a little bit. And then that should be good. Then we'll go ahead over and do our glowberries. So this area here, we're gonna do something similar where we put the fence posts up and well, and of course the course so course dirt to make it look a little fancier in here. But we'll put the posts right here. Don't think we need to, but we can get rid of the dirt there. Now we go up by, let's see, see how it looks. Plus we need glowberries growing on this. So may as well put it up four, four high. Then we can put campfires on just to make it look a little fancy. Of course, Gotta grab the dirt to make it <laughs> to help help me build this. <laughs> but yeah, you put like this, and then if my scroll button keeps on getting stuck here, <laughs> I swear I'm not this slow. <laughs> but yeah, you put last one, and then we'll take it on the dirt off and extinguish the fires. And then we can hang the glowberries off of this and it'll look all fancy. There we go. And then last couple touches and should be done. We'll fill out the area with little boxes and stuff afterwards just to make it look a little more filled out and used. But that's that. You can see we put little crates and stuff around just to make it look nice. And now we have two more barns that I want to do in this area, so let's head over and build those right now. One of the mods we have on here has little snuffles, which are really cute. They kind of live in snowy areas, so I thought I'd fill this area out with snow in front of this barn. But yeah, they give you some kind of, it's like a wool thing, and they make really cute shag carpets with it. So yeah, right after we build this, we're going to go straight over there. Luckily, one of our earlier adventures, I saved a waypoint, so it'll be pretty easy to catch them. love snowy biomes. I think this area is so pretty. Maybe one day we'll come back and make a log cabin here. For now, we're on a mission and I see four snuffles right here. May as well catch all four so we don't break up the family. That would not be very nice. Hello, you're so cute. I love the little slurpy noises they make too. I think somebody already shaved these guys. That's okay, their hair should grow back, hopefully. If not, we might have to build an enclosure in the snowy biome. But for now, let's get these guys home and in their new enclosure. Maybe you guys in the comments could help me name them in the future, or we'll figure out names as we go. Alright, there we go. Number one, number two, C, number three, and number four. Oh, they're so cute. They seem really happy in their new little farm here. I haven't fully decorated in here. Maybe we'll come back in and leave some cauldrons with water and some food for them. Some other little decorations. But for now, it seems like 
that's all the time we have for. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment if you can. It all helps the algorithm to help me to get my videos out there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Toodaloo! Bye-bye! Thanks for watching!